Today on MTG Unpacked, we're getting stuck into a brand new box of Zendikar Rising set boosters for patrons. So without further ado, let's get into it. And we will be opening the box topper in this video, so keep your eyes peeled. Okay, so I like the packaging here. What do you think of it? A little bit different, nice display. So we are going to be grabbing, I believe, 12 packs, so 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, let's count them up, so we've got 4, 8, 12, perfect. And not to forget the box topper, alright. And the patrons today we have Grandmaster Z, MTG Hermit, Raphael M, and finally Eric Cook. Okay, so we're grabbing four packs here for Grandmaster Z. Do a bit of a shuffle through there. And then four for MTG Hermit, Raphael, I think. I think it is getting two and last two go to Eric. Let's get into it. Thank you for being a patron, Grandmaster Z. Any patrons get the rares, mythics, spoils, and anything over a buck. I'm also checking in the art cards and any of the cards from the list. Okay, so we've got a very nice art card here. I think that's one of the islands. Yep, very cool. We get a swamp, chuck that in too. Boost that lighting a tad. We got tormenting voice, rabid bite, molten blast, vine gecko, cinderclasm, roost of drakes, Malakir rebirth. On the other side, we got the Malakir Maya, far side adept, Kabira outrider, and the rare is Charix, the raging isle, legendary creature, Leviathan crab zero seventeen for four, ridiculous. Suppose your opponent's cast at target, Charix Raging Isle costs two more to cast, and for three, he gets plus X, minus X into end of turn, where X is the number of islands you control. Zendikar's seas are deeper than anyone can fathom. All right, and a foil paired tactician with a mini game booster sleuth. Okay, so what are you thinking of the mini games? Leave a note in the comments. On to the next one here. So nothing too crazy as of yet. Um, I have no idea what was that one called. Soul Shutter. Get a Plains, Rabid Bite, Molten Blast, Inordinate Rage, Scavenge Blade, Allied Assault, Ameria Captain, Sajiri Shelter. On the other side we've got the Sajiri Glacier Bubble Snare, Disenchant. And the rare is Coveted Prize, Sorcery for five. This will cost one less cast for each creature in your party. Search your library for a card, put it into your hand, and shuffle your library. If you have a full party, you may cast a spell with converted mana cost four or less from your hand without paying its mana cost. And a foil pressure point with a core warrior token. So is anyone excited about the Kaladesh Remastered coming to MTG Arena later this week? Looking forward to it. We'll probably crack some packs there at some point. Okay, so we've got a Nahiri, a Plains, Might of Miraza, Nalad Colony, Royal Eruption, Skyclave Pickaxe, Skyclave GOP, Lithform Blight, Palaka Predation, on the other side we've got the Palaka Caverns, Prowling Felidar, Broken Wings, and a Mythic, yes! Leyline Tyrant, Creature Dragon 4444 with Flying. You don't lose unspent red mana as steps and phases and then when Leyline Tyrant dies, you may pay any amount of red mana when you do it, deals that much damage to any target. Fantastic pull! And a foil journey to oblivion with a Drake token. Okay, so our first mythic of the video. Hopefully one of many. Okay, so we've got... what is that land? That is a Prismatic Vista. Okay, a forest. This is Zendikon, Turn Timber Ascetic, Living Tempest, Negate, Nahiri's Binding, Thundering Rebuke, Akum Hellhound Showcase, Seagate Banneret, Brushfire Elemental, and the rare is Confounding Conundrum. 
Enchantment for two, so when it enters the battlefield, draw a card. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under an opponent's control, if that player had another land enter the battlefield under their control this turn, they return a land they control to its owner's hand. And a foil resolute strike. And the game doesn't stop here. Have you been playing in MTG Arena? What do you think? So things are a little shaken up after the recent bannings. Okay, on to the next here. MTG Hermit. An MTG Hermit has a YouTube channel. I'll check a link in the corner in case you missed that one. So, thank you for being a patron, sir. This looks like a mountain. Yes, it is. A foil island. That is pretty nice. Expedition Diviner. Cunning Geyser Mage. Seafloor Stalker. Relic Vile. Spring Mantle Cleric. Grotag Knight Runner, Creature Goblin Rogue, nice! Spikefield Hazard, on the other side we got a Spikefield Cave, Cleric of Chill Depths, Synchronized Spellcraft, and the rare is Throne of McKindy, it's a land tap to add colors mana for one tap, put a charge counter on it, and tap, remove a charge counter from it, you get to add two mana of any one color, spend this mana only to cast kick spells, and a foil rare, Swarm Shambler, Creature Fungus Beast, okay then, 0-0 zero, zero for a single green, so it enters the battlefield with a plus one plus one counter on it. Whenever a creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it becomes the target of a spell and opponent controls. Create a 1-1 one, one green insect creature token for one tap. Put a plus one plus one counter on it. And ever flowing chalice from the list. Nice one. Love that artwork. Okay, so we do have something from the list today. That is something. And let's also see if we can get a uh, signed art card. So we've got a Tita Peak Ambusher. There he is. A Forest Adventure Awaits. Spare Supplies Deliberate. Draga Visionary Skyclave. Shadow Cat. Cat Horror. Iridescent Horn Beetle. Song Mad Treachery. On the other side we've got these Song Mad Ruins. Adventure Awaits. Hello Mage is familiar. And the rare is a Kiri Fearless Voyager, legendary creature core warrior 333. Whenever you attack a player with one or more equipped creatures, draw a card, and for a white, you may unattach an equipment from a creature you control. If you do, tap that creature and it gains indestructible until end of turn. Okay, and a foil far sight adept. And what is this mini game? Base race. Okay. So we're not getting any packs with more than one rare so far, that's pretty common actually, but you can get up to four rares in these. Okay, so we've got a battle scene here, what's going on there, and here is binding, okay, we've got an island, bubble snare, shell shield, dauntless unity, risen riptide, reclaim the waste, merfolk wind robber, County Ambush, on the other side we got the County Territory, Low Mages Familiar, and the rare is Confounding Conundrum, and I think we've seen that already, so let's skip past it. You do get a second rare here, Squad Commander, Creature Core Warrior 3-3 three, three for 4, so when it ends Spadfield, create a 1-1 one, one White Core Warrior Creature Token for each creature in your party. The beginning of combat on your turn, if you have a full party creature you control, get plus 1 plus 0 and gain indestructible until end of turn. And a foil seafloor stalker with a copy token. Okay, one more pack here for the hermit. Let's see if we can get another pack with two or more rares. Okay, what is that? Windswept Heath. Oh, nice one. Foil full up forest. Kazandu Stomper. Smite the Monstrous. Canopy Bailoff. Strength of Solidarity. Canyon Jaboa, the cutest magic card in the set. Fearless Fledgling, okay then, Skyclave Squid Showcase, Brushfire Elemental Base Camp, and a Mythic, yes, Mythic number two here, Tazri Beacon of Unity, Legendary Creature Human Warrior 4, 6, for 5, so this spell costs one less cast for each creature in your party, and for a nice combo of colours there, look at the top six cards of your library, you may roll up to two Cleric, Rogue, Warrior, Wizard, and or Ally cards from among them, put them into your hand, put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. A foil into the royal with another copy token. Okay, so let's scoop it all up. Tons of cards here for Mr. Hermit. Alright, next up we have Raphael M. Thank you for being a patron. Two packs of goodness here. 
Okay, so that, is that one of the commanders? I think it is. Let's check it out. Anyone, the Ruin Thief. Okay, we got a Forest, Stonework, Pat Beast, Seagate, Colossus, Soaring, Thought Thief, Skyclave Plunder, Concerted Defense, Spoils of Adventure, Palaka Predation. On the other side, we got the Palaka Caverns, Skyclave Sentinel, and the rare is Legion Angel, Creature Angel Warrior, 4 3 for 4 with flying. So when it enters Badfield, you may reel a card you own from named Legion Angel from outside the game. And put it into your hand. We are many and righteous. And another rare. Thieving Skydiver. Creature Mofo Rogue 2 1 for 2. Has Kicker X. X can't be zero. With flying and spade of field. If it was kicked, gain control of target artifact with command mana cost X or less. If the artifact's an equipment, attach it to Thieving Skydiver. I like the flavor on that one. And a foil Namana Skydancer with a Cat Beast token. Okay, one more here for Raphael. Okay, so what is this? This looks like Clearwater Pathway. Okay, Mountain Ghastly Gloom Hunter, Drainer's Silencer, Highborn Vampire, Namana Skydancer, Core Blade Master, Shadow Stinger, McKindy Ox Showcase, Kazandu Neckpot, Roost of Drakes, and another Mythic! Holy moly! Ameria's Call, cool. Sorcery for 7, create 2 4 4 white angel warrior creature tokens with flying, non angel creature control gain, indestructible until end of turn. On the other side, it is Ameria Shattered Skyclave. It's a land. As it enters the battlefield, you may pay 3 life if you don't. It enters the battlefield, tap, tap it for white. And a foil blood price with an insect token. Okay, very nice indeed. So, what is that? 3 mythics so far. And you know what? I'm greedy. Let's get into the box topper here. I know some of you skip to the end to see this, so hopefully this will throw you off your game a little bit. Jay Xing. Okay, let's check the quality here. Looking good. And we have a Razor Verge Thicket. Another mythic. Nice one. Enters battlefield tapped unless you control two or fewer other lands. Tap to add green or white. Don't think I've got that one, so that will be a nice addition to the collection. And finally, here we have Eric Cook. Thank you for being a patron. Getting into two more packs here. Okay, so one of the lands, uh, Bright Climb Pathway. Okay, got a Swamp, Bubble Snare, Shell Shield, Dauntless Unity, Risen Riptide, Relic Golem, Base Camp, Bayin Vale, on the other side we got the Bayin Coast, Ghastly Gloom Hunter, Field Research, and rare is Archon of Ameria, Creature Archon 2-3 three, for 3 with flying, each player can't cast more than one spell each turn, non-basic lands your opponent control, enter the battlefield tapped, and a foil Field Research, and another Cat Beast, and I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. For more Magic the Gathering unboxings and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Okay, so this looks very cool. I cannot remember. What is that? Maliki at Blood Priest. Alright, we've got an island. There he is again. Okay, that's a fun coincidence. Nimana Skitter Sneak. Zulu Poet Jewelist. Cascade Seer. Fisher Wizard. Creature Goblin Wizard. Cleric of Life's Bond, Balaged Recovery. On the other side, we got the Balaged Sentry. I think that one was over a buck. We'll chuck that in as well. Draga Visionary, Dauntless Survivor, and the rare is Inscription of Abundance. Instant for two, kick a two and a green. Choose one if the spell was kicked. Choose any number instead. You get to put two plus one plus one counters on target creature. Target player gains X life where X is greatest power among creatures they control, or target creature you control fights target creature you don't control. Okay, and a foil spare supplies and a construct token. So there we have it. Let's scoop it all up here for Eric. Enjoy the pool, sir. Stay tuned later in the month. We'll have the patron snap packs. Always a fun time. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.